What's up guys? Worker Kit sent me one of their tactical adjustable armor suits for free. So let's check it out. So let's open it up here and see what we got. All right, I think I got it. All right, so far there's that. There is that. This and this, hmm. Let's see what we've got here. All right, this, whoa, it's all stuck together. I guess we've got to pull it all out of the box at once. All right, nothing left. Okay, so the first thing it looks like we have is a chest plate. And it looks like it's got molly on the back. And it is padded, so that's kind of cool. And this has got some padding in the back side too. So far it looks pretty cool. It looks like you've got a neck guard, which is nice for airsoft and paintball. And it looks pretty adjustable. Let's see, what are these? I don't know if I have the instructions here. I don't think they are. I might have to look at a picture to figure it out. This may be a shoulder pad. And I think this is the second one. All right. Now this to me may be one of the coolest things in the whole thing. I could definitely see this being beneficial for paintball. For airsoft, beneficial too, because you don't want to get shot up close with something that's, you know, 350 or 400 FPS, because that would hurt. Anyways, it's kind of like a belt armored plate here. And then we got three more things here, let's see. Hmm. This looks like, uh, I don't know, maybe this is a belt that hooks up with this. Maybe this, it looks like, yeah, that's gonna attach to a belt. And then it appears we have two of these. And I think this is kind of like either arm or um, forearm armor. Yeah, something like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put this armor on Jackson over here. And that way we can kind of better see where it all goes and then talk about it. All right, so let's go do this. All right, guys, I've put the armor suit on Jackson. It's very adjustable and I adjusted it pretty good, but I didn't wanna do it perfectly because I'm gonna put it on me and I didn't wanna have to uh, do a lot of adjustments again. So let's start here. Here's your chest plate. And I think one of the coolest things about this is you have this to help protect your neck. And that would be great for both airsoft and paintball. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of got like different parts that make up the chest plate. Kind of reminds me of like a reptilian type of layout. You can adjust it on top. This is your shoulder guard and you attach it here and it's adjustable more up for the height and you can adjust it here. And one thing that I forgot to mention is there is some thin padding on the inside of this chest plate. As we move down, you have a forearm protector and this is also adjustable and it looks like this little piece extending off here will protect your elbow. And then next you have this belt. All right, so it has its own attachments, this piece, but then you can also attach it to this belt here. And this belt's kind of heavy and it's got a metal buckle. And it's got like some little attachments here that you can attach stuff. It has these, which I'm not really sure what this is for. And again, the same thing on, the, on this side. Let's go to the back. Let's turn him around. I guess you could kind of call this a plate carrier. It's really, I would say, a half plate carrier because in the front you don't really, or you can't really put a plate. But in the back, I think you can, and it feels like they put a really thick rubber or styrofoam plate back here. It has some molly, as you can see here, so you can attach different stuff. 
Again, this is the back side. I didn't even catch this. But you can probably molly it through here and here. And again, here's the back side of your belt. And again, you can see your forearm protector and your shoulder protector. So it's pretty cool looking. The first shout out goes to King Gaming. The next shout out goes to Gabriel Lucas Baluyut. The next shout out goes to Prince Swift. The next shout out goes to LT Cheesy32. The next shout out goes to Nathan Mead. The next shout out goes to Yumi Wolf. The next shout out goes to Callsign I.